Dr. J.B. Dankwa is back. Yes, Dr. Joseph Kwame Chiltree Boache Dankwa, the astute, illustrious son of Ghana, who was a Ghanaian politician, scholar, lawyer, and statesman, is back. This is the reincarnation or the coming back of Dr. J.B. Dankwa. If you want to know more about how he has, you know, resurrected from from from, from the land of the ancestors, stick and stay as I bring you all the fine details. Welcome to Ghana National Journal, where we talk about the arts, culture, tourism, and TV. So if you are a fan, or if you are a student, or if you are a lover of the, the, the rich cultural diversity of Ghana, and the beautiful arts and artifacts of Ghana, and if you love technical and vocational education and training, in Ghana, then you are welcome home. This is the right channel for you. National General is 100% dedicated to showcasing and promoting Ghana's arts, culture, tourism, and TV. So if you are ready for today's story, let's go. You know, JB Dankwa is known in Ghana. And not only in Ghana, in the whole of Africa. Yes, the illustrious son of Madagana, Joseph Kwame Chiritrie Boache Dankwa, is a known statesman, an astute politician, scholar, and lawyer who, you know, was a politician in the pre and post colonial Ghana, which was, you know, formerly Cape Coast, and is credited with giving Ghana its current name. Yes, uh, he was born. Uh, on December 1895 at Brimpong and joined the ancestors on February 4th, 1965. Yes, he passed on on February 4th, 1965 at Insamwem. Now, JB Dankwa is from Chibi. And yes, and at Chibi, at the Ochiman's palace, JB Dankwa was not just an ordinary Chibi man or an Ochiman. He he had a stool. He 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 was a chief, yes, one of the sub chiefs, and his stool name was Berima Kwame Chiritre Boache Dankwa. And his stool has been vacant for over fifty eight years. Yes, after his demise, no one was selected to occupy that stool. But fortunately, yesterday. At the Ochehines Palace, yes, the Ochehines Palace marked a historic event in the history of Ghana and in the history of Chibi. That is the reason why we are sharing this news with you. And the video you are about to see is not our video, it was taken. Uh, we, we got this video from Susubribis Kingdom, a YouTube channel that we also subscribe to and follow because it gives you it gives us all the exclusive footage from the Ochehines palace and things happening in chibi so if you are somebody who wants to know more about chibi and Ochehines palace please consider subscribing to to Subribis kingdom that is the name of the channel to Subribis kingdom which you know brings the all brings out all the latest information happening in chibi and the Ochehines palace so on this fateful day that is the 20th of december the uh, uh, elevated elevated Berima Kwekudria, who was the Ahinana Nahini or the Etriahini of Ochehini. He was the Ahinana Nahini or the Etriahini of Ochehini, and his stool or his title was elevated to Trafohini. Trafohini. And because of that, he is now known and called Okatechie Abebio Chiritie Boache Dankwa. Now, for our friends who are not Ghanaians uh, or for our friends who are not Akans and will not understand this long name, let me take the time to break it down. Now, his name again is Okatechie Abebio Chiritie Boache Dankwa. His former stool name was Berima Kwekudria. But now he has been elevated to occupy the stool of his grandfather, his direct grandfather, Berima Kwame Chiritie Boachidankwa. That is 
the late JB Dankwa. He has been elevated to occupy his two, which has been vacant for the past 58 years. So, like I said, Okatechie Abebio Chiri Chie Boachi Dankwa simply means that if we say somebody is Okatechie, it means um, a warrior. Okatechie, an illustrious person, a warrior. And Abebio means someone who has been reincarnated or someone who has gone to the ancestors and has returned typically a reincarnated being okatachie abibio so a warrior who has been reincarnated and chili chie is a warrior who is able to capture a leopard alive a chie is leopard so chili chie is capturing of leopard and then boache dangwa is the name so this is a title describing someone who is a gallant warrior no wonder he's he's now the chap for him he's now the chap for him and he's inheriting his direct grandfather berima kwami chiritri bwache dankwa who is known in private life as dr jb dankwa and he was not the only person who got the opportunity to swear an oath of allegiance to the ochehene even though he is already a chief or he was already a chief serving under Ochehene. But because he has been elevated and serving a new portfolio, he has to swear a new oath of allegiance again. Signifying that he has been given a, a new rule and he will do whatever it takes to protect that new rule and he will do whatever it takes to serve that new rule. He wasn't only the person who got the opportunity to swear Another man by name Berima, uh, 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 another illustrious son of o- Ocheman by name Berima Odumja Ofuriata Asante, also got the opportunity to swear an oath of allegiance to replace the Ahenanas too. You know, uh, the one taking over or the, the one inheriting JB Dadankwa was the Ahenanana. So if he's leaving or vacating that, that stool, someone must replace or take his stead. And so Berima Odumja Ofuriata Asante took his place and is now the Ahinana Hene or the or the Echie Nana Hene of Oche Oche, Oche Hene. And he is also the grandson of Oche Hene's Nanase Ofuriata. He is one of the grandsons of Ochehene Nanase of Uriata, who was one of the fierce and fearless king in the Susubiribi kingdom. Yeah, so these two, these two stools or these two people who had the opportunity to swear an oath of allegiance to the gallant Ochehene are no mere ordinary people. One is the direct grandson of a once upon a time an Ochehene who who was well known and well revered in Ghana by name Nana Se Ofori Atta and the and the other person who has been elevated from his uh, stool that is the Etrena Nahene stool is also a direct grandson of an illustrious son of Ghana and an illustrious son of JB by name uh, JB Dankwa. So this is a historic event and because it is a, a historic event it was graced by the president of the republic of ghana the president of the land nana Arudankwa Ekufuado, and some key ministers and people from the flagstaff house and uh, from the parliament and world wishes now apart from apart from this event being a historic event another thing that i would want to draw our attention to as you would get the opportunity to watch the video is the fact that um uh, when the Ochehene sat in state he had the Okrapehene who is like a cousin to the Ochehene also sitting by his right side and i'm happy to see this because the Okrapehene Nana Akwesie Kufu the third is a young chief and 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 i've not seen any video of him you know sitting next to the or, 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 or 
for a swearing in of a new chief. He has been around. I've seen him with the Ochenene at festivals and other events. But for such a historic event, I think this is the first time. And this is a historic event. And the, the reason why I am swearing, I am I am stressing on this is because uh, even though the Ukrapehine has been accepted into the regional house of chiefs there is still you know little skirmishes in a group on, uh, 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 about another family trying to claim that they have a candidate who is supposed to be the okapahine so for the Ochehine, who is the 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 senior to okapahine to accept him and for him to sit by his side to to welcome the swearing in of another chief comes to confirm that whoever is walking around and parading around as the Okapehine does not have the blessing of his elder of his uncle that is the Chebihine and hence even the regional as of chief so this comes to affirm the position the role and the power the Okapehine has Nana Akwesi Osasajifu Osiadeo Akwesiagufu yes Osiadeo Akwesiagufu the third and he's a very handsome and humble king. Uh, may he live long. May the Ochehini live long. May these new uh, chiefs also live long to serve and protect the properties and the heritage that their ancestors have, you know, left over for them to continue for the next generation to come and be handed over to. Now, another important thing that I also want to, you know, bring to your attention was when the gallant Ochehini was giving a little history about some key people who are close to the stool and where they come from.
is what makes our tradition so beautiful in fact this video and this little history from 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 the from the chief's own mouth i will not say from the horse's own mouth because the king cannot be a horse so i will say from the king's own mouth the king mentioned some of his grandparents and even said that some of them come from ashanti mampo oh yes some of them come from bogoso and ashanti mampo this comes to affirm and this comes to show the sort of unity and the cultural diversity we have here in ghana yes for an ashanti mampong man to marry somebody from chebi to give birth to somebody who climbed the stool any of the stools in chebi and was a renowned person shows that ghana we are united the cultures we have in ghana the various tribes we have in Ghana do not necessarily have rift or fight or enmity or or or, or, or jealousy for the others. It is just some few people or some politicians who are trying to triumph and use the tribal card for their own selfish gains. Because if the king himself, the Ochehini himself, Sajefo Amwetia Ufuri Penny had not altered this himself nobody would have even known that there are people who are close to the chebis to whose roots or lineage come from ashanti mampong these are ashantis and these are chebis and for all you know the chebis we are all accounts the kapems the ashantis the we are all accounts this is the beauty of the ghana culture these are the few things that I want to, you know, bring to your attention as you watch the video. And once again, this video, I do not have any right over this video. This video is from Susubribi's Kingdom. That is the YouTube channel's name. In fact, and it has 390 subscribers. Let's go there and subscribe so that we also get updates from, 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 from Chebi and from the Ochengnes Palace. Thank you, Susubribi's Kingdom, for, you know, bringing this video to the limelight for the world to see and they say the internet does not forget so this is a historic event that people in ghana and outside ghana can see and as as a channel on national agenda we also take the pains to you know get some of these videos explain and bring out some key points so that as you watch you pay attention to these details let's enjoy the video please don't forget to subscribe like and also Tell us what you think about this video in the comment section. God be with you. 